Our focus next, the politically divisive legal battle over a women's access to abortion in the United States. That fight shifts to a Texas courtroom this morning. A judge will hear a case that seeks to ban the use of the abortion pill. Chris Reyes joins us from New York with that story. Chris, set the stage for us. Take us through the importance of this case. Good morning, John. Yeah, there are high stakes uh, in today's hearing, and that's because this one judge in Amarillo, Texas, could essentially significantly limit abortion access in the U.S. Judge Matthew Kazmarek will be taking a look at a request to take the abortion pill, Mifepristone, off uh, the shelves. Uh, this particular drug has been approved by the FDA since 2000, and it's part of a larger lawsuit, this hearing, uh, against the FDA claiming that the drug isn't safe. Now, this uh, particular he hearing will decide whether this abortion pill will be taken off the market. This one judge will decide that, and that's really, John, where this hearing breaks some ground. Have a listen to what a former federal prosecutor had to say about that. It's unprecedented. I mean, it would be unprecedented for a judge, a single judge, to say the FDA got it wrong 23 years ago. There's never been an instance where uh, anyone has overturned the ruling of the FDA against the FDA's wishes. And the notion that it's been 23 years and the FDA has repeatedly reaffirmed the efficacy and safety of this drug makes it sort of ridiculous. And John, another thing that makes it significant is that in the U.S., more than half of the women who end their pregnancy do so by using medication. Chris, let's talk a bit about this judge and the controversy leading up to today's hearings. All right, so some details on Judge Kaczmarek. He's a Trump appointee. Uh, he was critically, uh, he is critically written against uh, Roe v. Wade. Democrats opposed his appointment. Senator Dick Durbin called him um, anti-LGBTQ rights. Uh, he used to work for a Christian conservative legal uh, organization, and some abortion rights activists have said that conservatives have been steering cases his way because they believe that they that he'll vote in favor of uh, limiting abortion access. So the hearing takes place at 9 a.m. Uh, we could expect a decision today or in the days ahead. Thanks for this, Chris. Chris Reyes, live in New York. Thanks, John.